What are you boycotting till the day you die? Facebook. It divides and dumbs down people, contrary to what it should do. Chris Brown. Edit. Not just for the Rihanna thing he's been a piece of shit well before and after that. But yes also for the Rihanna thing. Sirius XM Radio. If you've ever dealt with the customer service when trying to cancel your subscription, you'll understand why. State Farm. Thanks to some whistleblowers, they got busted committing fraud against their customers and the federal government after Hurricane Katrina. They told their claims adjusters to classify damage as flood damage, rather than wind damage, so that they could reject the claim and tell customers to file a federal flood insurance claim. I was boycotting Blockbuster for charging me late fees because they lost the tape I returned in their evening return slot. Fuck those guys they ain't getting my business. I have been boycotting Carnival Cruise Line ever since I found out they are dumping plastic into the Bahamas. They even admitted to it and received a $20 million fine. Walmart. I work there and hate it with a passion. Any company or brand that puts advertisements on boat billboards that trawl the beach and fuck up my horizon line. That's not a fair spot to try to capture my attention. Susan G. Komen Foundation They employ alphabet soup and lawyer speak to defraud millions. Note. They do not fund research nor do they help patients. They are an advertising company. They advertise cancer awareness, because someone may be unaware of cancer, s. Mad same as Komen, they promote anti-drunk driving awareness. Yelp. They are horrible to small businesses and require them to pay a fortune for ads to bury any negative reviews. If the business doesn't spend on ads, they bury the positive reviews. Yelp also seems to attract the worst critics. Edit. Thank you for all the upvotes and awards. Now I know what it feels like to be a rock star on Reddit. I noticed that someone is going through the whole thread and downvoting all the comments against Yelp. Must be a Yelp employee. Nestle. Microtransactions in games that are only there to speed up a ridiculously slow progression model. Bank of America. Fucked me over for $10 back in 1993 on a mistake they made. Never getting my motherfucking business again. ETA. What a nice surprise to commiserate with you all on our shared vitriol for BOFA and their ilk. It was maddening to read some of your stories, and a few were just heartbreaking. I am uplifted by the stubborn streak running through this thread and appreciate the hilarious instances of malicious compliance. Many thanks for the awards, such a nice treat. Happy Friday to you all. Except you BOFA, you can eat a bag of syphilitic dicks. I used to try and boycott Amazon. Never ordered anything from them, didn't go on sites like Goodreads or IMDB, didn't shop at stores they had shares in. Then I discovered AWS. Tried to run a custom script that would block any site hosted on AWS, but that made using the internet nearly impossible. The final nail in the boycott coffin was when I needed to use it for a web development class. Now that Amazon has bought MGM, I'm not sure how anyone will ever be able to participate in society without filling Bezos' pockets. Harvey Norman. They have terrible customer service and they took a whole lot of Australian government money that they didn't deserve and are refusing to give it back. Anything that even has a hint of MLM. Stop exploiting your personal relationships out of greed. Edit. MLM stands for multi-level marketing, pyramid schemes. Pretty much anything in one of those unskippable YouTube ads. After this week, fucking Activision and or Blizzard, however that shit is structured. R. Kelly. Kills me I can never hear Ignition Remix ever again. Such a banger. Autism Speaks. Among other things, the way they treat autism like it's some kind of horrible personality disease is unforgivable. In which movie did the villain actually have a point? Wizard of Oz. Yeah, she was a witch but come on. They were her dead sister's shoes. She should have them. Not some stranger who just showed up and wants them. Oh by the way, this stranger that just showed up, was the one that killed her sister. Sad really. Emperor's new groove. Kronk's shoulder devil. No, no, he's got a point. There is this podcast ran by two stand-up comedians called, The Villain Was Right, that has quite a long list of episodes on this premise. Ranging from death from Final Destination to Arthur from the Magic School Bus. Dot. Definitely recommend. Barbasa he just wanted to be uncursed. Granted he was being a real asshole about it. Magneto from the X-Men series, particularly the reboot. Especially in Days of Future Past. Now he wasn't really a villain, but he was the antagonist, Goofy in a Goofy movie had understandably good reasons to be scared for his son from his perspective. The B-movie. The Incredibles. 
The line, if everyone is special then no one is, blew my mind when I was younger. Shylock in The Merchant of Venice. The play's entire message could be summed up as, Shylock's not wrong. He's just an asshole. Megamind. Privilege dictates social etatus. Generally I think Drive Doofenshmirtz had a point in the first movie. Evil Dr. D's reason for being evil being the loss of a toy train is kinda, meh. Edit. I should clarify. The, good, Dr. D has multiple backstories, but the, evil, one, with the eye patch, only has the one, which is losing a toy train. Doof confirms it by saying, what? That's it? Oh come on, I have multiple backstories. Blade Runner. The shark in Jaws. The ocean is his home. Flint Marco, aka Sandman, from Spider-Man 3. He's a desperate father with a daughter on her deathbed, just trying to amass the funding necessary to bring her back to health. The Wizard of Oz. Wicked gives a brilliant counter-narrative. I mean, who steals a dead woman's shoes? Not a movie but Squidward from Spongebob. He's not really the villain technically but many children hate him. As you grow up you truly realize that he's not wrong at all. General Hummel, Ed Harris, in The Rock. All he wanted was for soldiers' sacrifices to be recognized by their government. He just chose the worst possible way to pursue that goal. Law-abiding citizen. Aliens. They were minding their business until their homeworld became prime for intergalactic corporate mining and exploitation. Some of villains from Marvel most of the heroes ruined their lives.